How can you use energy tapping with hypnosis? That's what we're gonna answer in this video. We got some questions from our hypnosis community. We thought we'd do a video on it. So, great question. What the heck is energy tapping and how can you use it in hypnosis multiple ways? Well, realize energy tapping is, is something that's very big right now, and it works really well. I've, I've done a lot of different ones from EFT to tapas acupressure technique, all these energetic techniques, faster EFT, and we settled on a six-step method that I think does the job 99% of the mm -hmm. time. You're tapping the top of your head, the center of your forehead, the outer corner of the eye, under the eye, under edge of the collarbone, tap the microphone by accident on either side, and you squeeze your wrist, take a deep breath, and relax. So it's six points. Yeah. When would you do this, and why would you do it? You're going to use this to depotentiate negative emotions. So if you're feeling negative emotions, fear, anger, sadness, trauma, you have to feel it in your body. Then you give it a name like this bad feeling, this bad feeling, yeah. this bad feeling. You tap each one half a dozen times. Then you check and you see, is it gone? No, do it again. Now you can be very technical here and say, how bad is it out of 10 with 10 being screaming out of control and zero being nothing and keep chipping away at it and say, okay, it's gone from a six to a two. That's really good. But the key is to always zero it completely. And provided you're hydrated and you're feeling it in your body, this will reduce it to zero. This is a really cool thing to learn on its own, even outside of the context of hypnosis. Like I know my daughter at university is studying for her finals right now. She's probably nervous, so if she caught herself, I'm really worried about this biochemistry right. final, she could do tapping on that to take the anxiety levels down. Okay, so we can use this in combination with mm. hypnosis. You can use it as a standalone technique, as a standalone technique, you can use it with hypnosis. You can teach the person at the beginning of the session mm -hmm. to do it. So the person is, is very good with it. Let them depotentiate something that's bothering them when they come into the session. Mm, so I like, don't know if the hypnosis is gonna work. I doubt that this yeah. will work. Oh, interesting, say doubt, I doubt this will work. You can tap that away, I've done this or right at the beginning. Or even during the interview process, sure. before you formally start doing any hypnosis, guess what, it starts the moment they walk in. But Right. Before you formally introduce anything while you're talking to them, maybe something bubbles up and, and you, well, what is that feeling? They give it a name and you tap on that to Until get that down to zero. to zero. You're giving yeah. them a little win right off the bat, right? Yes, okay. and you can do it in trance. If the person is in trance and you're able to touch the person and that's copacetic, you could do that or just have them do it in trance. You like teach them say, the protocol in advance. Teach them the protocol mm -hmm. at the beginning of the session. You also be very wary about touching your, your clients. And the other thing is if you tap with them, A, they don't feel stupid because you're doing it along yeah. with them. And B, it seems to make it work even better. Now, realize you can do this not just in trance, but at the end of a session, too, to stabilize all your results. Is, results. Is there anything hanging on about mm. this? Well, I still have this feeling about I'm going to be nervous when I see you know, and that's the doctor. What we call, can yeah. you feel it now in your body? They've got to feel it in their body and then tap it down to zero again. So we get that idea we call squeezing the lemon. If, if you take something from a screaming nine, let's say, down to a two, Keep and going. you're doing a little bit of future pacing after the session to see, and the next time you're faced with that situation that oh, would have you, cost you, yeah. and they go, well, you know, I'll be, I'll be pretty, pretty good. good. Okay, no. imagine you're there right now, how bad is it out of 10? Oh, it's, it's like a three. Okay, Zero that's in. so much better than a nine, but let's yeah. do this now, right? And then you do it. Okay. Yes, and the final one is teach it to your clients you can stabilize its effect with hypnosis and say when they're in trance that this will work even faster and mm -hmm. more powerfully. Use the hypnosis to help it. And you can give this as homework to the client so if anything negative Bingo. bubbles up when they're home, they can tap it down to zero, always zero. And guys. that is a really wonderful little homework tool to send people home with, because it's homework. <laughs> for things like cravings for cigarettes or junk food cravings yeah. or chocolate, Any, anything like that. Anything, mm -hmm. yeah. So enjoy it. Use the six-step tapping either as a standalone technique or in the beginning, during, or after a hypnosis session. Or assign it as home. homework to your clients <laughs> yes. and make good use of this stuff. I am Chris Thompson. And I'm Mike Mandel. We run the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. And if you'd like to get started, it's completely free to do so. Click the link in the description under this video. You'll find a link that will take you right to our website. Thanks again. And good night. night.